In this video, we are going to be taking a look at eight item glitches that you guys have got to see in Build a Boat for Treasure. So make sure you stay tuned. Also, be sure to like the video and subscribe. We're not going to waste any more time because we got a lot of these to go through. Let's start it off. All right, so the first glitch that I do want to show you guys is how you can actually bypass the jet speed while going through the stages. We all know that when you take a jet through the stages that the jet slows down drastically and like half the speed actually gets lost on the jet turbine. But what if I were to tell you that that you can get the speed all the way through the stages. Let me show you guys exactly how to do this. All right, so to start it off, all we're going to do is we are going to grab ourselves just some wood blocks here. It literally doesn't matter what blocks you use. We're just going to uh, make it like a post probably about, I want to say like this high off the ground. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to uh, duplicate it just like this. So we're just going to clone it right about there. All right, so now what we're going to do is we are going to place ourselves on this side that we placed this post or this tower right here. We're going to place our jet. And then on this side over here, we're going to grab our rope and we're going to place our rope just like this we're gonna place one side right there and then we're gonna connect the other side actually what we're gonna do first before we do that we're gonna place a seat right on the back of our jet and then we're going to grab our rope make sure it is the rope we're going to place it just like that and then we're going to place one side right there so now we have this contraption so you can duplicate this as many times as you want it really doesn't matter so what you're going to do is you're going to delete this just like that all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to sit on the chair okay so we're just going to go ahead here we're going to sit on the chair we're going to activate the jet now if you wanted to actually make this even easier so you don't actually have to set it up every time you can duplicate this once it's uh once it's activated and then that'll give it infinite fuel as well so we're going to just duplicate a few of these so we can do it a few times so let's duplicate this one let's duplicate just one more all right there we go so number one this will never run out of fuel and number two you don't have to keep setting it up over and over again so what we're going to do is we are going to delete the post just like this and uh oh wait a second I forgot. We have to wait till they run out of fuel. Hold on. So it only works on the duplicated ones. So right now, we just currently are waiting for the jet to run out of fuel. And then this glitch will be ready. But in the meantime, I want to show you guys another glitch we'll get to back to this one here in just a second so kind of as you we were just doing earlier you can actually duplicate certain items inside of the game and make them completely glitched out with infinite abilities for example here what i could do let's equip this normal jetpack so i can activate this jetpack right and as i'm actually moving up we can actually clone this thing just like this and just like that oh it fell through the map all right so what we're gonna do is we're going to hold this and then anchor just like this we're going to duplicate i've actually never tried this with uh with jetpacks before so this is gonna be new i don't know if you can do it with jetpacks but you can do it with thrusters inside of the game it is a very very good example so we all know that this thruster right here runs out of fuel almost instantly but if you actually activate one just like this and as it's going we're going to grab the clone tool duplicate it just like this and then you guys will see here in just a second this one will run out of fuel and then this one will stay on pretty much forever it will never run out of fuel so you could do whatever you want with that you could turn it into a particle block if you wanted to you could do a lot of cool things and if you're wondering if it actually still moves well the answer is yes i mean just take a look at this we can even flip it sideways and then it'll go through the stages so let's turn it like this and let's move it over here and just like that it's gone look at that so the thruster does work even after it's duplicated so you can technically get an infinite thruster every single time but let's go back over here and check on our jet turbines and get on with the first glitch that I wanted to get into so you guys can see right here what we're going to do is we're simply going to delete the rope and just like this now we are literally floating through the stages I should have put us just a little bit higher off the ground because we might hit the ground but you guys can see right here we are completely bypassing the speed of the stages i mean look at this a, a jet usually cannot go through the stages at this speed but with this glitch it is possible and it is super super awesome so yeah this is as fast as the purple jet goes actually it might even be faster it honestly feels like it's faster than the purple jet i want to say but look at this we are literally just levitating to the end, and uh, this is insane. Like, look at this. We're just, we're, we're here. Just like that, we're at the end treasure. Wait, I wonder what happens when we hit the wall. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Wait, I just broke the game. I just broke the game. Oh, my goodness. All right, so the third item glitch that I do want to show you guys, I'm lucky that this stage is actually inside of the game because it takes absolutely forever to find, but you can get some really cool custom 
particles okay and actually take it back to your plot and it looks really really cool so what i actually mean by this is let's say we want to just grab ourselves like a normal platform here let's just grab you know a few of these blocks whoops let's grab a few of these blocks maybe some of these i'm basically going to show you guys how to get a really really cool custom design on your blocks it really can happen with any block inside of the game but let me just show you guys this for now and let's also let's add some wood on here as well why not just that way we can see what it looks like on all of these uh different textures let's add some stone on here all right that should be good right there now i'm gonna grab myself a pilot seat and also a jet turbine and i'm going to go fly to the second to last stage there's a certain stage here that's actually inside of my game right now that you can get a really cool custom particle from and get some really cool looking blocks and i believe you can also duplicate these which i'm not 100 on but i believe you can all right so the stage we're looking for is like the retro stage it's like usually like the second to the last stage that there is so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna fly down inside of here and this is the stage so you guys can see that there's these blocks here and these blocks are the obstacles inside of the stage but every time you actually get hit with one of these obstacles you get this really really awesome particle effect on your build i'm gonna see if i can actually get some of the wood to get damaged here i don't know if i'll be able to or not and let's see maybe i can come on oh wait our, our oh no our jet just broke i won't be able to take it back to the plot hold on let me let me redo this all right so this time i just have one single block here and i'm gonna go inside of here hopefully just hit one single obstacle and call it good and there we go okay we got it it did change the color of our build but we're gonna take this all the way back we're going to color it differently and on top of that we're gonna see if we can duplicate it but as i'm driving over here let's see so you can actually change the color and it you guys can see this was a normal like plastic texture this changed it to like a marble type and you can change the color on this as many times as you want but it does give it that really cool outline i am gonna test it right now and see if we can actually duplicate this or not which i believe i did test in a myth busting video but i don't really remember so let's take this back and try it out all right so we made it back to our plot here so let's see if we can actually duplicate this all right i'm very very curious so let's go like this and clone and oh my goodness okay so you can duplicate this that is super super awesome okay there we go i wonder what happens if you save it okay let's save it uh let's just save it on this save slot let's load it back in i'm curious to see what happens and oh man unfortunately it does not save and it's back to the normal texture so the texture was just temporarily that's that's actually very very interesting so you technically can t change the textures of your block inside a build a boat by using that stage and one of the next item glitches that i do want to go over with you guys is one of the most common and one of the most best and most important glitches of all time and that is the conveyor glitch now the conveyor glitch can be created in many different ways a very very simple way to replicate what this conveyor glitch is is let's say that i had a block attached to my avatar right let's just say i had this block attached to my avatar as i'm walking right here and let's say i anchor as i'm moving you guys can see right here uh, if i delete that this block now if i scale it long just like this it is now turned into a conveyor so if i get on this it's going to move me at this speed now the faster that something is in motion that you can anchor quick enough the faster the conveyor is going to be you guys can see this is only as fast as my walk speed but if you were to let's say do one of these jets right here so what we're going to do to show this off is we are going to grab ourselves let's say it's a normal jet turbine and we're going to place a block right on top of it that we want to turn into the conveyor so what we're going to do is we're just going to to simply place down a pilot seat just like this we're going to select it and as soon as i press f i'm instantly going to click just like that and now technically this block should be turned into a conveyor at a very very high speed let's see yeah you guys can see right there so what this actually is useful used for inside of the game and useful inside of the game you can make afk gold grinders with it that's one of the main popularities with it because you could set that up inside of the stages with portals and all of that stuff and wow i just noticed that roblox updated the ui that looks very interesting i kind of like that but this glitch has been around for a very very long time and is used for so many different things inside of the game so you can make your own moving water with it there's so many cool things to do and another glitch that's super super popular that's been inside of the game for a very long time and i don't think is going anywhere is the typical duplication glitches there's some items inside of the game that you can really only get one or two of and you may find use for a lot more of them now there's a couple ways in which you can actually duplicate items and build a boat one very very easy way that you could do is this is by building a ramp off of your plot so 
let's just say I grab myself a couple anchored blocks here and I make myself just a cool little ramp just like this okay let's make it probably about that big so what I'm gonna do is turn anchor block turned off and let's use the steampunk jetpack for example I'm gonna place it on the ramp it's going to fall just like that I only have one steampunk jetpack but now if I were to go back in my inventory now I have another and then as soon as it falls off the plot then I have another now I have three steampunk jetpacks and yeah now you could technically grab a harpoon just like this click on one of them drag them inside of your plot I could go ahead and harpoon this other one over there drag this one inside my plot and just so you guys can see that it actually works and that it saves let me reload this in well bam now I have two of these now if you're wanting to actually duplicate builds let's say that you had like a bunch of items duplicated items on one build and you wanted to duplicate those so let's say I wanted to take these duplicated jetpacks here I'm going to anchor them first of all I'm going to drag them on this platform right here I'm going to make sure that this platform is good enough okay there we go so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get on here I'm going to save before I do anything I'm going to select all turn anchor block off delete the post activate the jets and I'm going to take this out of the build area so right now I'm going to duplicate this a different way so now I'm out of the build area what I'm going to do is I'm simply just going to load back in that same save slot once it's loaded back in I'm going to drive this over to the very very beginning and you guys will notice just like this now we have both of these and then you could once again save and open back up your menu load it in and you guys can see now we have both of these so there's a couple ways in which you could actually duplicate items and there's a few more ways as well that you may know of but these are probably the two most common now in my opinion one of the coolest glitches inside of the game that you can do is breaking blocks and what I mean by that is literally breaking blocks blocks like there's that's literally what I mean so what I recommend for this uh, you could do it with pretty much any item inside of the game but some of the items with some of the most parts are going to be jetpacks and in my opinion this looks the coolest what we're gonna do is build a box around this because if any of these parts go out on the river inside of any of the stages if they do hit any obstacles they are going to break so I would recommend building multiple walls if you're trying to do this with literally any item it really doesn't matter what item you're trying to do it with but uh, we're basically just building a box here and then what we're going to do let's say we wanted to break let's say the ultra jetpack right here we're going to place that inside of here we're going to grab ourselves a tnt and we're going to grab ourselves a pilot seat sit inside of here press f and just like that you guys can see all the particles just went everywhere right now but the cool thing is i can actually click on this equip it i actually have this thing equipped if you guys look at the screen closely you'll see the items that are glitching absolutely everywhere and i technically have this jetpack on and this is absolutely breaking my game so it is uh it is a pretty crazy glitch and you can do this with pretty much any item inside of the game all right now another interesting glitch that a lot of players don't actually know about is you can actually paint certain items with a pink potion yes you guys heard that right we all know that the red potion, you know, burns items just like this, okay? It'll burn pretty much any item inside of the game and, you know, break it almost instantly. And the yellow potion right here, well, it really doesn't do anything at all. But this pink potion, if you were to throw this at, like, let's say this block right here, it really does nothing. But if we take this pink potion and we go to literally any wood texture inside of the game any wood textured block if we go and throw it at it it turns the texture or it turns the color of the wood block to pink it's super weird it literally only works on wood textures it doesn't work on any other block inside of the game and i when i mean wood textures i mean like literally any wood texture and wait what in the world is going on so literally even with these sword mounts right here i throw the pink potion since it's a wood texture well you guys can see uh it changes it it's very very interesting and to wrap it up i do want to go over one of the most favorable glitches inside of the game so first things first there's actually two terrain glitches you can do one that the entire server can see and the other is only client sided which means only you can see it but the one with two players everyone in the server can see it so we've tried some pretty crazy things with this we've tried to take the tornado from the uh the farm stage and yes it in fact does work so you can take literally almost anything from any stage inside of the game 
and it's absolutely insane like this is just one of many things that we've taken from the stages that was super cool let me show you guys another cool thing we even got the rain from the farm stage as well like a rain particle when there was the halloween update we even got the fog of the water from the graveyard stage which was super super awesome i mean it was foggy water it was so cool we even pieced together the entire cauldron that was part of the halloween update that this was all in one stage by the way we took this all the way back to our plot now in order to actually do the two person terrain glitch it's pretty easy i'll try to demonstrate it with one person here but essentially you want to have one person who does the harpoon okay so both of you guys need to have pvp mode turned on first of all so make sure you guys go turn pvp mode on now let's say that one person grabs something from a stage right let's say they wanted to like move this tree let's say for example they would harpoon it just like this well before that you would actually have to grab yourself a mounted wizard staff activate the harpoon hold the wizard staff in your hand and then shoot the tip of the wizard staff unequip the wizard staff so that way your harpoon is dangling like this now you're good to reset the harpoon now you go ahead harpoon literally anything you want around the map okay once the harpoon's there you uh simply delete the cake that's connected to the harpoon or the glue block you just want to get away from the harpoon make sure it's still connected so then the person that you're doing this with who has pvp mode turned on i know this might sound complicated but this is literally how it goes they're going to have two portals just like this okay one portal they're gonna have right above you just like this and the other one they're gonna have next to you you're going to stand underneath whoops i accidentally teleported i guess that's another glitch we could throw in there little teleportation glitch that you could do with the harpoon and also the wizard staff so yeah you could also technically harpoon something at the end and then i could equip the wizard staff and teleport at the end that's another glitch that we could throw in there but anyway besides the point what you would do is your friend would throw a blue potion at you turn you into the ice cube freeze you once you're frozen they're going to drop the portal on you just like this okay it only works when you're frozen they're literally just going to unanchor it they're going to drop it on you but you won't teleport because you'll be in the frozen then once you have the portal like you're standing in the middle of the portal that's when you pull out your wizard staff and you just spam space bar and then once you break out of the ice the item gets teleported and let me show you guys how it works just so you can see a little demonstration. So you guys can see here is a very, very good example. I was trying to move something inside of the stage. He throws the potion at me, drops the portal just like this. I pull out the wizard staff, press space bar, and then whatever the other portal is at, that's where the item is going to teleport to. So if you guys need me to make another video going in depth on how to do this, let me know down below. You shout out to Fluffy for showing me this glitch originally. And yeah, it's one of the coolest glitches inside of the game. If there's any other item glitches that I did miss out on, let me know down below. Be sure to drop a big thumbs up and make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys all inside the next one. Peace out and goodbye.